Well, hello everybody. I can't show you a picture of me, but I, I, I'm all over the place, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm Mandy Honeyman, and this is just a very quick introduction to the OU Live environment um, at the Open University. And this is one of the first things that when you go into a room, it's a really good thing to do is to set your audio levels. Um, this is so that you don't sound too loud or that you don't sound too soft, clearly. Um, you can you do that by going up to the tools and audio and the easiest thing to do is to use the wizard okay and the next one so you can t you the other thing to be aware of is also after you're talking uh, after you've had your say um, then it's a really good idea to turn the talk off. That gives um, other people an opportunity to talk because we set the maximum number of talkers at one time. You won't really have to do that uh, if you're in a small group, you know, but if you're in a bigger group, it's a good thing to get into the practice of doing. And then, uh, so talk on and talk off. Quite often you'll find that you're talking to yourself. I do it all the time. In fact, if I was recording this, then uh, I would have not had any of the um, uh, anything of what I've said already if I was recording this in OU Live, which we sometimes do as well. Okay. So uh, video on is also something that we sometimes do. Um, I like it. Other tutors might not like it. Um, it also depends very much on everybody's bandwidth. So if anybody is suffering because of uh, video, we tend to turn it off uh, because we don't want anybody to suffer. Um, again, it's uh, video on and video off. And we'll probably set fewer people to be able to do that at the same time because of bandwidth issues. <clears throat> again, uh, the settings for that again is under tools. So you can go to your camera settings. You won't have those moderator um, selections, obviously, unless you go into a uh, online room yourselves, which you're, of course, very welcome to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the participants window, which is over here. And you can pull it out and you can extend it down which can be very helpful if you're getting, uh, if you've got a lot of people <coughs> and you want to keep an eye on them. You can also stick it around your room anywhere you like. Or you can just put it back where it was. So let's put it back where it was. Hopefully it will go in nicely. Okay, it's gone into the wrong place, but it doesn't matter. These windows just slip around like that. And in here, again, on a drop down menu are different things that you can do. It's nice when you get up and go uh, somewhere or you need to answer the phone or look after the kids that you uh, just indicate quickly that you've stepped away. There's no problem with stepping away but it's it's nice in case uh, anybody wants to ask you a question they feel really silly if they're asking a question you're not there. Um, and here this is a poll type answer sometimes that might change to A, B, C, D, etc. You can see that on the window over there. So just some tips. Find a quiet place without distractions. Keep your microphone switched off unless you're speaking. Use the emoticons to signal how things are going for you. Don't hesitate to do that. Please don't. We don't mind. It's very nice to see, you know, if people approve of what you're saying. And if you are finding it difficult to get attention, particularly, for example, if lots of people are using their microphones and you can't get a word in edgeways because they won't turn them off, uh, stick your hand up and someone will make sure that you um, are heard. The text chat window, again, this is, might be something that you wanted to pull out. Oops. And again, you can extend it like that. And so uh, you just type in like any, like any old chat. Oops, oops. And you have a fair selection of. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but never mind. Fair, fair share of emoticons for you there to use as well. The tools and pointers are on the left-hand side are stuck here. 
uh, you can move them around again. Um, and they can be a little fiddly sometimes just to pick up what you want, might want, but that's always nice to change the color if you want to. Some of them stick, some of them are to select, some of them draw. Uh, there are all sorts of th different things. When you get into a room, have a little play around with that once. Um, and when you finish your uh, tutorial or anything that you're doing in an online room, you might be meeting with other students. You're very welcome to do that. Um, you would want to. You might want to save the whiteboard so that you can uh, go back and have a look at it at a later time. Of course, you can do that. You go to File. And you go save, and there you go. You could save it. When you go to the whiteboard, the thing to make sure that you're doing is that you're saving it instead of whiteboard, which is the default. You go down and you save it to PDF. Okay. So I hope that that was useful. Um, I'll see you around and uh, have fun. Bye bye.